Hi Brad from WPSites.net. This is the uh, the second part of a, uh, a series of uh, videos on how to design a WordPress website using a StudioPress theme. And uh, this is what we've achieved so far. If you uh, watch the first video, um, we started off with a totally blank canvas, and what we're trying to do is pretty much replicate uh, the demo site on, on, the, on the official Studio Press uh, website, which is this. So, uh, because when you purchase a theme like Magazine Themes or any of the Studio Press themes, you install them on the Genesis framework and they don't look like this they're just totally blank so I showed you that in the uh, in the previous video this is how far we've got in 30 minutes in the first video so it's looking pretty nice uh, what we'll do is we actually uh, in the first video we imported some dummy content and it created all these pages we'll actually delete all that and I'll show you how to create the pages manually because you'll need to learn how to do that and it's pretty straightforward so and uh, I'll also show you how to create the two different menus. There's a main menu up here and there's a secondary menu that goes across here. So I'll show you how to do that. And there's lots of other things that you need to learn how to do, which you can see on the uh, the Demo Studio Press site here. There's a lot more involved here. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. I'll, I'll, I'll just give you the best guide I can give you. So you can uh, you can follow the video. And, and if you like this site, you can make something very, very similar within the space of an hour or two. Um, for a very very minimal investment, so I think it's a fantastic represents fantastic value for money really, and a great way to to build your online presence. So, um, if you haven't watched the first video, make sure you do because uh, that'll bring you up to speed. But here's all the uh, the pages that were created. So we'll delete these bulk actions, move to trash. Now these won't be permanently deleted immediately; they'll just go to trash and they'll stay in there for a while before they're permanently deleted so I'll just move all of those pages yesterday I created uh, three posts and here they are here these top three we'll keep them I didn't tag them I, I went back and changed the category of them so every post is assigned a category so I'll show you how to create categories and that's pretty pretty straightforward so I'll uncheck these I'll delete all the dummy content because it's uh, you're not going to use that anyway I mean it's 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 it looks good but it's not your content and uh, publish trash how many have we got to go there Okay, so those are the three we want to keep. So we've kept those three, and let's just take a quick look at them. We've got the uh, we've got the main image there, which is 600 wide by 250 height. We've got the the uh, the post title there. We've got the category. We've assigned this to category one, but we'll create some new categories. We haven't tagged them, and we've set this image here as a featured image as well. So uh, I've showed you how to do that. Now the next step is uh, the menus. Let's just have a look at the menus. Now we've got all these. We'll just delete these menus and I'll show you how to create them. It's, 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 it's pretty easy. So we've got a, a primary and a secondary. So there's no menus here. This is what it'll look like when you first install a certain theme. Uh, We'll call this the primary primary menu create menu so you've created one menu already you just haven't assigned any 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 uh, pages or posts to it so you can do that very easy um, we'll create the other one and we'll call it the secondary menu Okay, now you really shouldn't assign posts to your menu, but we'll, we'll just do it as an example in the secondary menu here, and we'll uh, make sure you allocate the secondary, assign the secondary menu here as well, and save that. And that, that'll show up on the front of the site now. If we have a look at the site, this is what we did yesterday. Uh, it should show up here, and the reason it hasn't is because I've got to go into the Genesis settings. So... Uh, there's no pages in here either so we'll go into the Genesis settings Genesis theme settings 
and we'll just while we're here we can change the color if you didn't like the pink color we'll just change that to blue okay and at the same time we'll go down enable extras on the right side of the uh, navigation yeah we'll do that um, RSS feed links you can choose today's date search form whatever you like let's just put in a search form okay uh, include secondary menu yes so we'll save that now we'll just have a look at the site we can see the search forms come up here so you can put that up here or you can actually put it down there so you can see the colors change to blue so it's really easy to change colors and it's quite a nice blue as well I think um, now let's just add the menus we haven't allocated any pages or posts so we'll go into the menus and the secondary menu we want to have a look at um, <coughs> let's allocate some categories three different categories so we'll put the categories in the second menu you can see there save the changes and we'll just take a look at that and there you can see there in the secondary menu so you can have your different category uh, different posts in your different categories show up here so that looks pretty nice doesn't it looks like a, a very professional nice looking website we need some pages up here so the next step is uh, we've saved that um, primary menu we'll save the primary me menu we'll have to create some pages so what sort of pages should you have well you should have a, a home page so we'll create the home page and here's the link to the home page so we'll just grab that grab that permalink to the home page it's actually going to be here this is the home page okay we can publish that uh, where are the menus we'll go in appearance menus and home but we don't want this one we want the primary menu so we're adding pages to the primary menu add to menu <coughs> so that's been added and we'll just check out the site now so here you go here so we've got the uh, we've got the home page here um, which is incorrect so we'll just fix that made a little mistake there we'll go back into that page and right I don't need to create a page for the home page just delete that so to put a home page tab there I can simply remove that save the changes I can just create a custom link for the home page and and the link to the home page will be a link to the site it, it doesn't have a, a special uh, URL so it'll just be your domain name in, the, in this case I'm working off a local installation so uh, but if I was using my domain it'd just be wpsites.net so whatever your domain name is just just stick this in here paste that in there delete that little bit there so we're just adding uh, a home page here okay so if we have a look that'll be right now click on the home page no it's not right <laughs> what's happened what have I done um, primary menu that should be alright I don't know what the problem is there I'll just have to work that out okay there wasn't a problem there I don't know what happened in a couple of seconds I fixed that but uh, th there wasn't anything I really need to fix so so if we look at the the home page now we click on the home this comes through to our home page okay we'll add a contact page as well and uh, we can also add a blog page as well if you like so I'll show you how to do that now first we'll add a contact page so we can have a contact form on there we'll go to pages add new we'll call this contact uh, default template we've got a, uh, three different templates we can choose here we'll just use the default template we'll publish that 
Uh, we'll add it to the menu. Contact. Add to menu. There it is there. It's been added. So if we check out the site now, we've got contact, but there's nothing on the contact page. We need a contact form. So I'll show you how to do that quickly. There's lots of different ways you can do it, we'll, but we'll add, a, we'll add a plug in, a really good plug in. Um, Jetpack, created by Automatic, who's the company behind WordPress. So we'll install this plugin. So I've just installed the Jetpack plugin, but it won't work because I'm working off a local installation of WordPress on my, on my laptop, and it's not connected to the internet. So, uh, but if you're working off a live inst installation, I, I recommend you install this plugin. It's a really good plugin. You will need to connect it to a WordPress.com account, which you can just click here and sign up for, which is free. And it comes with a really good features like great contact form and uh, and a really good image uh, gallery and, and, and a heap of really great features. So uh, so I'd recommend that. Uh, because I can't install that, what I'll do is um, I'll add another contact um, form plugin, contact form seven, which is really popular. It's not as good as the one which is included in Jetpack, but it's very basic. It's free. Contact Form 7 is the name. It's really easy to set up. Not as easy as the Jetpack Contact Form. So, But I'll just show you how to create a, a contact uh, form on your contact page. Now, Contact Form 7, we'll go to Settings. Here's Contact Form 1. Now, we'll go to the page. We'll just copy this short code here. Pages. And we want the Contact Form page. We'll go to the HTML. You see you've got the visual and the HTML. So this is going to be a contact form. Just paste that in there. Update that and we'll view the page. You should have a contact form on it. Now it has your name, email, subject, message sent. So that's a pretty basic, straightforward, nice little contact form. So we've got two pages there now. Now you can have a blog page as well. You can obviously uh, display the posts, featured posts on your home page using the widgets as I showed you yesterday. But you can also create a blog page which is really easy. And I'll show you how to do that now. I wrote a post on this uh, recently. Um, a blog page. Now, add new. We'll just call it blog or you can call it posts. You can really call it whatever you like. The important thing here is that you use the blog page template. So there's three different page templates you can use. We'll publish that. We'll go to appearance menus and we'll include this blog page in your, your main menu there. There it is there. Add that to the menu. So you've got three pages now. So whenever you publish a blog post, this is going to come up on your blog post page. It'll display all your posts. So here it is here. And we've already created three posts, haven't we, which we put on the home page. So here they are here. So it looks pretty nice. It's got the, it's got the main image there. It's just got a little bit of a uh, little bit of text there. So there are three posts, and that looks really, really nice. I mean, it looks better than my site. I'm, I'm seriously considering moving to this theme. I think it's a, it's a beautiful theme. So, so there's three, three pages there. You could add a few more. Um, you could add, if, you, if you're offering different services or something like that, you could add a services page. You could add a testimonials page. There's lots of different things you can do. But uh, you, you, you know how to uh, create a blog page now, which is really good. Uh, let's just move down. We'll put something in the sidebar now. Um, what are we going to put in the sidebar? Let's have a look. We'll go to Appearance Widgets. And what have they got on the demo site? Recent posts, got some ads, uh, tweets, latest tweets, and got some post tags. So let's add recent posts and some tweets to the sidebar. So basically we go to the primary sidebar. Uh, and let's look for recent posts. Here they are. So this is, this is one of the default widgets that's already included in every new installation of WordPress and you can determine on how many recent posts you want there you can have three or five whatever I think three to five is a good number you don't want too many because it 
it just becomes too confusing and too cluttered so we'll add them in there and we'll also add you could add a tag cloud if you like using post tags which are a good form of uh, navigation if you use them properly uh, latest tweets uh, load new tweets every five minutes well if you're tweeting every five minutes you should set that but uh, with me it's probably every 12 hours which isn't enough include a link to the Twitter page we'll do that number of tweets to show I think just three is enough putting the Twitter username there for me it's wpsites.net I don't think you need to include the full URL um, latest tweets from WP sites or you can have follow on Twitter you can call it whatever you like so we'll just add those two things to the uh, sidebar let's see what's happened now we've got the latest uh, most recent posts here so people can easily find it's a good idea to have popular posts in here and you'll find a free plugin to create popular posts um, because your latest, your, your most recent posts, most of them will be shown on the home page and your blog page anyway, so it's better to have popular posts. And here's the latest tweets, and that looks pretty nice. You can change this colour scheme. I showed you how to do that before. So we've got three posts on our blog page now. Let's go back. We've got a search form in there, which looks pretty nice. Uh, we've got our email sign-up form. That's connected to uh, FeedBurner, which is a free... RSS management service um, offered by Google. They own FeedBurner now, so I've already written a post on how to create a FeedBurner account. That's pretty pretty straightforward. Let's add some more content down here. As you can see on the the demo site, we've got uh, we've got these three uh, featured posts, and just having a look at them, you can see the image of the persons in the middle and you can see this is quite important this is the reason it shows up in the middle if it was if the image of this person was on the left it wouldn't be showing up in the middle like that it wouldn't look too good so you've got to be careful with the images because high quality images when done right look really really nice it looks really professional but it's very easy to uh, make a mistake and and so they don't look so good so uh, let's just add three uh, featured posts like we've got here on our site. So we've just added the tweets. We'll add. Uh, what, what are we going to do? We can use three existing posts. We've already added. Uh, we've already added three posts, and here they are. Here we could use. We could put them on the home page as well. So we'll put them in the widget area on the home page. Um, We've used the top. This one contains the home top contains the slider. This one contains a featured post, and so does this one here. Now we're looking for home bottom. So let's drag in featured posts. And what we'll do here is if we've got different categories of posts, say category one, and I've created at least three posts with under category one I can just set that to three and it will display three but I know I've only created one so if we do it here what's it gonna do only one's gonna show up and I haven't clicked the featured image featured image align the image to the left so we wrap the text let's have a look at that now so this is sort of how we want it but obviously you want more text here you want it to come down here so you probably want five to six lines of text what have they got in the demo let's have a look yeah, you can see here they've got the main post title and then they've got five lines and the read more links so this is the way we want to make it so let's let's go back here. Um, we've only got one post assigned to each category at this stage. So we'll, category one will have one post. Uh, show post title. Excerpt. Let's go um, show excerpt, and we'll just see what that looks like. You can include an author gravitor, but we won't do that. Let's just see what that looks like. No. 
So we'll have to change that. Where are we? Thumbnail 150 by 150. I'm pretty sure that's the right size. Yep. Uh, show post info. Let's let's just see how this looks. If we click show post info, so you can see you can easily just play around with these settings here. It's it's uh, now here we go. We've added some of this sort of stuff, but we don't really want that. We want an excerpt, but you could leave it like that, and people can click here, or you could have a read more link which is probably better. You'll probably get a higher click-through rate if you do that. So how do we do that? I'm pretty sure we go here. Um, show content and we have like a character limit. I don't know what it is. I'll just have to play around with it. We'll say 200. That should add a read more. No, that didn't work. <laughs> What happened there? It was a disaster. Why am I getting that? F uh, Let's just check that. 200 characters is far too high. Maybe 100, huh? Okay, so I worked that out, and this looks pretty nice here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six lines of content, plus a read more link. So when we click through, that looks nice. That looks good, so that's how we want it. And we want three of these, like the demo site's got. It's got them down here. So we'll have to go and make another one. And the settings I used were show post title, show content limit, and 400 characters. And it's already got this read more link uh, by default. Uh, for this one, it was category one showing one post, uh, but as I said before, if you've got more than one post assigned to each category, you can you could make this two, three, four, five, whatever you like. Uh, I included the featured image and the thumbnails 150 by 150, and the image alignments left. So this is what we need to do for another two posts. So Genesis featured posts. Let's uh, here they are here. Let's drag a couple more of these in. And we want three of these. Now this is the third one, all categories. Category three will make this show post title, uh, show content limit was 400 characters. Show featured image 150 by 150, a line left. Okay, so that's the third one. Now I'll go to the second one here. Uh, this will be category two, one post, post title, show content limit, that was a 400 characters, show featured image 150 by 150, a line left. Now let's check this out. This should look pretty good. Yep. And that looks pretty nice. It's, uh, you know, it's nice proportional. You can see what I said about the images before. If the, if the person in the image isn't in the center of it, it doesn't look too good. So you have to be careful. With Lenny Kravis, it looks really good. He's smack right in the middle of it. Scarlet's a bit o over to the left there. So uh, so you really got to make sure that your images look, 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 uh, look good and everything's aligned correctly. And obviously the, the person needs to be in the middle of the image if you want it looking good. Alright, so so we're getting pretty close now to uh, to what the demo site looks like here. Um, we can put another uh, link down there. You can also put these featured images in the footer. And this is probably the size you want to do it. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. If we've got a footer here, let's have a look. We've got an after post ad, which is really good. Uh, um, after content ad, so you can add ads in there really easily, and that'll just go in after you, after you post content. Um, so that's really good. You can add an opt-in form in there if you like. So after post ad, um, let's see what happens here. We'll put one of these in. We've already got one up here in the primary, the Genesis E News. What's going on here? Just clean that up. 
so we'll try this after post add text to show put in some attractive text like don't 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 miss out on a great uh, great content or a great deal so make it make it catchy make it attractive button text um, never miss updates free updates delivered by email so all, all they have to do is put in their email address let's see what that looks like where are we okay let's click one of these here we go so that 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 comes out down there never miss updates so that's quite good that's a good idea people read your posts they like your post and they can sign up there I haven't put in a um, WP sites you got to put in your feed burner ID let's have a look see what it looks like WP sites dot net is mine uh, let's have a look where was I so here we go here so people can subscribe right there so it's 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 pretty nice and change the color of these buttons quite easy so this is a good idea this is a good area to 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 build your subscribers at the end of the post and also on the right hand uh, top right hand sidebar here so we've added that what else can we do we can add something in the footer so we'll, we'll take a look at the footer um, footer one uh, let's go for we're going for these uh, let's close that up these Genesis featured posts but we can we can put pages in here as well uh, all categories no let's go category one one post uh, show featured image yes but this size we want 280 by 150 no text we'll save that what have they got here show excerpt no content see what that looks like in the foot area this should look pretty pretty smooth here we go looks really good so we'll just add another two of them so this is this is a really great theme it's got all these widget areas you can add all this content quite easily create your posts and your page pages make sure you uh, you focus on your images and make sure they look good um, category 2 no content featured image 180 by 150 check that out see what that looks like no that's the demo site what am I doing on the demo site let's have a look at our site should have another one there now okay that's two and we'll just add another one so you can see how easy this is it's 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 really really easy to do all this stuff just make sure you've got really good quality images it does make a big difference alright category three in the next video I'll show you how to create the categories and uh, and quite a few other things so 280 by 150 no content we just want the image close that up and we'll check it out so there we go then we've got three different footer widgets so uh, people can click through and check out your content there we've added a blog page so you've got uh, you've got your main image of your of your blog page there you can you can actually change this so you could could have a thumbnail here on the left and you can have the uh, the text on the right of the image if you want to do that for your this is called the blog page or the blog archives page I've used the full size image and uh, and just an excerpt of the uh, the content which I think looks pretty good uh, we've added the contact page we've used contact form 7 but I think you're better off using the jetpack plugin which includes a contact form in it and we've added the footer widgets here um, the tweets we've added there recent posts I suggest you, you install a popular post plugin we've got the after post um, subscribe form as well so that looks pretty nice um, 
So in the next in the next video, I'll show you how to do a little bit more customization and uh, and and a few more uh, tips and tricks. Cheers! Thanks for watching, and see you next time.